Adam, shut up. I want to see equipment running and montages. Got it. We'll do that for you. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today, Tom's working from home, feeling a little under the weather. Um, we're still gonna get things done, but uh, you know, he's gotta get better because there's a baby on the way. And that might be more important, well, it is more important than what we have going on here. So, get better, Tom. Yeah, and you know, I need his, I appreciate his input in these budget things. Um, and it can be really weird talking about money, especially with your employer. But I'm like pushing that threshold a little bit with them. And I think it helps motivate. And being part of that conversation in budget is, I mean, he has some ownership in it. Um, it's fun stuff. We're going to be talking about new tools and uh, how to be better with material and logistics and things like that. There's some planning obviously involved there's some dreaming involved and there's being creative so hopefully i can do a good job in like presenting that um ultimately it's my decision but i appreciate the input also there's a baby coming in like four weeks or less and so we have to do some planning with that um planning because you know time's gonna take two weeks off Laurel and I as business owners, and I, I hate to get on a soapbox here, but we're going to give Tom paternity leave. And we're blessed enough to do that. And we're going we're gonna to pay him to love on his wife and his new baby for two weeks. And I wish I could do more, but I can't. And, you know, so we're going to do that. And it's really important. And he's worth it. And his family's worth it. So there, it was a really easy decision to make. Um, you know, it's, it doesn't ever get easier, but it's our responsibility to make it better. Right. So that's what we're doing. Um, but there's, there's a problem in it because Mr. Tom does not sit well. So if we can do some little projects that may get done or may not, it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess it's my job to get better at this video taping thing, this uh, YouTube thing. So maybe I videotape some stuff and just let Tom run his editing magic. And hey, Tom, did I do it right? Today, I just got some chores around the shop to do. Um, I really need to wash the trucks, but I don't know if you can see it or not. It's like flurrying and gross out. So, um, to old girl, the 773. It's 99 773. Um, this old girl, I love it. I love this little machine. It's kind of my little baby. It's one of those ones where like you got the sentimental attachment to. You're just gonna keep her forever because she's got her own little personality and you know how to work on her and that kind of thing. Um, no offense to anybody like me referring to the skid loader as a girl. So I'm gonna, she's got, she had a bad, dead battery and we uh, put the, the tender on it for a while. I'm gonna see if I have to get the big charger on it to get her fired up, I'm not really sure. So we'll, I'll try and set you guys up and see that process. Well, the battery looks good. Um, let's see what happens when I hit the go plug. Ooh, did it go down a little bit? Let's see if, let's see if this old girl fires up. Um, She's, I mean, she's steady Eddie, totally reliable little machine. Um, I think every construction company needs a little rubber tire skid. Um, they're so versatile and tracks are awesome. Hands down awesome, but a little rubber tire skid is phenomenal. And uh, it was a great way to start in landscaping for sure. So let's see if this baby fires up. I keep um, our diesel equipment in our garage for our house. Um, a pretty decent sized garage. And, uh, you know, just ready and able to get out moving when it can. And I don't have to worry about plugging it in so much and, and 30 below temperatures and things like that. So that's what I do. Now, 
This old girl hasn't been fired up in about three weeks. So I think it's time. I think it's time. So I'll bring you guys along. Oh my gosh. She's plugged in and everything. Oh, it smells. Oh, what is Tom listening to? Um, yeah, it, uh, this old girl is a steady Eddie too. Um, oh, no air, no air there. So the dash looks good. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Everything looks good. And I'm just gonna wait for it to cycle through. All right. There it is. Awesome. Laurel's probably gonna be a little bit mad at me because I left that skid running and I hope she doesn't have a meeting or something. So, um, you know, it's not too loud in the house, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, dark shop. Okay, I'm getting all this stuff done because uh, because it's gonna drop. <clears throat> it's gonna drop like 40 degrees, 45 degrees tonight. It's about 30 right now, and they're saying like negative 10, negative 15 <laughs> tonight. So in the matter of like 16, 18 hours, it's gonna drop 45 degrees. And then it's gonna go back up to like 30. So I don't know if you guys are living in other parts of the country. Minnesota, I don't think it's really the straight cold. And I don't think it's really the, the you know, the snow so much. But it is just up and down with the weather. And it's always that way. You know, that's what makes us a hearty bunch in Minnesota, I think. It's being able to deal with that up and down. And I also think that that's what makes it... A bit tough to deal with sometimes because you try and plan things fun out here because I mean it is beautiful I don't know I'll take a little walk because we live right across the lake a street from a lake and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not um, it's fun to watch but I don't know if you can see it <coughs> I wish I had Tom's fun camera but through those trees are a bunch of ice fish houses and and um yeah they just you know people live on ice they have the probably their own warm house and it's kind of a fun hobby and people love doing it and you know so but other than that planning stuff i mean they're in a heated structure on the ice but other than that planning stuff out here when it's like negative 15 do you want to be out in that i don't i sometimes have to be but whatever the good old 773 um, is great, good to go, fire it up, let it run for a few minutes. And um, I'm just, sorry, I was just looking at the old truck, just seeing if everything's okay, everything's fine. Um, but uh, the old 773 is ready to go, ready to rock for the spring, I'm excited. I'm, I mean, it's it's the end of Feb or end of January, February's coming and February's gonna be snowy and gives us something to do. Um, other than planning, I'm so sick of being in the office and planning and building and do it, you know, and, but it has to happen, but I'm just, I'm not a good sitter. I'm not good at sitting. I did a lot of things. Sitting is not one of them. So, um, I mean, I've worked on that. Like as an adult, like I had to work on being patient and that's, I see it with my kids and I've passed on that genetic trait, I guess, of being a little anxious and um, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing it just is uh, at least I've learned how to you know maybe make myself more patient and it's a uh, patience is a skill that's always growing um, like I see Laurel's dad I'm sure he wasn't very patient before and now like now that he's older and a grandfather and you know uh, like the patience level even in the 10 plus years that I've been with Laurel like seeing Jay's patience level rise is, is cool but patience is a skill and uh, yeah I don't I'm just rambling about things right now I think part of vlogging is rambling and people like to watch it I'm not sure 
I don't understand the concept totally yet, but hey, whatever. Um, yeah, so hopefully I get to watch that. Hopefully I get to watch that. They both need a little fuel, um, but that's the day. I'm gonna try and get that done quick. So I, I don't even know where the camera's pointing. I'm trying to get that done quick so me and Tom can, Tom's not feeling great right now. And uh, obviously it's just kind of chores around here, so whatever. We'll talk about things. Um, but I gotta get moving and doing something because it's been, Tom's not felt great for two days and you know, the show must go on. Things need to get done. We have a deadline and a timeline, but yeah. So I'm gonna get this done, but so I can um, connect with Tom on the pewter and work on some more stuff and talk about more stuff and things and whatever. Uh, I hate it. Can you guys tell that I do not like being inside? <laughs> You know, I, I'm doing this because I'm learning. I, I don't know anything about YouTube or vlogging. I know very, I, I know the ones I like to watch, um, the guys that do it awesome, and the guys that there's a lot of this going on, and here's my piece of equipment that I just bought, and I don't even know how many of them I have. I don't like watching those guys, but, <clears throat> you know, I, I'm just trying to figure this stuff out. Um, I don't even know technically where we can film and things and you guys see us the last probably four or five videos is like stuff at the shop It's kind of because I don't know what I can do what I can't do if you guys know and want to tell me um, Tom has an idea, but like this is kind of new to both of us at this level in a way um, But if you want to tell us and help us, that's awesome. So subscribe click like comment Hey, if you don't like it, I got some pretty thick skin if you want to make fun of me, <laughs> I got a sense of humor too. So do it. Make fun of me, please. Make f you like. You can call me whatever you want. I don't care. I don't really care. You might be a part of a series of videos later on, making fun of you, making fun of me. I hope that happens. I hope we have that. So, um, but yeah, we do a lot of stuff around the shop. We do a lot more than this, but. We do a lot of stuff around the shop and we're kind of filming it just learning how to do it like i said vlogging is a is a kind of a new concept i know the ones that i like to watch and they're phenomenal at it i don't have that skill um i'm learning that skill um tom is good tom's from what he's learned how to edit in the last year um he's got a sense of you know a sense of camera and a sense of cinematic and a drama and what like and I, I think it's cool I think it's really cool um, I'm not good at this I'm filming this to get better at it um, I want to critique I want to be made fun of I want to like be hurt a little bit if you don't like it so I can learn from it um, this is like I said a new skill this is a new challenge I don't even know if we have time to do this in the summer. We just started a channel. I don't know how successful it's gonna be. I don't even know, is it really to be for marketing? I don't know. Is it is it kind of to document my my life and Tom's life and us being friends probably? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this is yet. I don't even know what you guys like watching. <laughs> you know? Um, Maybe you don't want to hear me talk at all and you just want to see Tom's cool montages um, with equipment and stuff to some fun music. Adam, shut up. I want to see equipment running and montages. Got it, we'll do that for you. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just doing this because I can't sit in the office. I can't sit in front of a computer screen any longer. Tom, I love talking to you, but I'm sick of talking to you. Sick of it through a computer screen. And now I'm looking at a camera talking. This is crazy shit. <laughs> can't say that on YouTube. Tom, bleep that out. Little, let's find a new swear sound effect, okay? <laughs>